Hello, welcome to episode six of Fuck Off, fucking controller. Episode goddamn six of my fucking blind let's play of fucking Bloodborne. Fuck off! I hate the fucking. Ugh, I hate that I can't get comfortable right now, number one. And I hate the fucking PS4 controller with its stupid fucking analog L2 and R2 button that you just fucking breathe on it and all of a sudden the fucking button's being pushed down. Oh my god, I'm so fucking annoyed at this stupid fucking boss, Father Gas Coin, that I'm fighting here. With the fucking super long run back to get back to him. Gotta get past all these enemies. I guess let's try just running past them all. Is that gonna get me killed on my way out of the boss battle? I have no idea. I hope not. Where's my fucking pile of blood? Can't fucking find it. Dude, he can fucking move and attack at the same fucking time, and I can't. That's just fucking stupid as all fucking hell. Like, you can't even hit an enemy on Wake Up! They're just already ready to fucking interrupt you and to poise through hits. Fucking hit the dodge button. You would hope that it would dodge, but that is not always the case. Fucking lose my goddamn lock on. No fucking stamina for a follow-up attack. I'm fucking stuck as all fucking hell. Can't fucking move! Fuck! Dude, he can just fucking approach limitlessly! There's nowhere to fucking run! I'm just stuck constantly! And he'll fucking knock me out of every fucking attack now! Even though he only takes one more fucking hit! God, I fucking hate this horse shit! Should be a fucking fun game to play, but no, the fucking... 
people that make these games are fucking demented. Hold on, tomb key. Key to the gate that blocks the tomb of Odon. Where's that? I have no fucking clue. What the hell is that? Oh. Key to the gate that blocks the tomb of Odon. Beyond the tomb, Odon Chapel can be found in the center of the cathedral ward. Only today the church is abandoned, and some say that the residents of Odon have all gone mad. Well, who fucking cares? Where did I enter? Here? I guess. Fuck, gotta remember to put that thing on. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Like, where even is my blood stain from before? My big 718, not even enough for one level. Uh. Yeah, so we got definitely got a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde vibe going on in this game, which is cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, I suppose let's return. Let's just make sure I explored this room. I'll come back here and go up the stairs after. All right, all right. You know what? Fuck it. While I'm here, let's just use these. 500. 1050. Cool. Let's go back. Let's see if I can open up that third shop. If that's what the one badge does for me. The saw badge. Whatever the fuck it was. Oh my god. Where the fuck did the doll go? Oh, let, let me check this um, gate down here. Maybe this is the key to this gate. Probably not. But that'll be maybe opened up once I have a different badge. Who fucking knows? Okay, let's see if there's anything new at this shop. I don't have any of these yet, eh? Let me buy at least three of them. That's good. Yeah, I want that thing, but I can wait. Saw cleaver, saw spear. Okay. So I have access to all this stuff now. I'm fine with what I've got. Okay, what is I gonna do? Oh. Let's put an antidote in here. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and put anything away that is not badly needed. Nothing to put away. Okay. I guess I could take uh, blood vials out. I don't have any in here? Can you not store those away? I thought you could. I thought that's what I was seeing every time I grabbed too many. Tool for the task is missing. Where is the doll? Oh, hello. Welcome. What is it? Ah, the, they find hearts Farewell, good maze. Okay, okay, okay. With insight, right? Oh, gas coins, shit, you can buy with insight. Is it really that good? Hunter attire worn by Father Gascoigne. The dingy scarf is a holy shawl and symbol of the healing church from which Gascoigne would eventually part ways. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land, and there is no such rank in the healing church. 
Okay, 9, 11, 10, 8, 11, 11, 10. 9, 11, 10, 8, 11, 11, 10. Uh, it would give me more arcane defense. I mean, technically it would be better than this, but I don't want to spend all that insight. That seems like a rare and valuable commodity. So let's check if I can buy anything from here yet. Nothing there. Okay. All right. Let's go get a few level ups. Welcome. What is it, you? Very well. Let me stand. Uh, stamina. Fuck it. Two stamina. Farewell, good may. Okay. Might as well keep upgrading this axe. Let's repair. Whoops. Eight. I don't have eight. Well, we'll save up for that. All right, let's continue. Still nothing here, no. All right, let's continue. Tomb of Odon. Oh, that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna be using that key pretty fucking quickly, seemingly. went out and handed out some resumes at some uh, local used video game stores around here today. That would be cool to work in a used video game store. I've never done that before. I think that would be a lot of fun. Okay. Is that the door that I've got the key for? Yep. All right, yeah, it's a big heavy gate. Yeah, yeah, it's epic. Whatever. Oh, item. Nothing else over here, eh? All right, cool, cool. I like it. Red jeweled brooch. What's that gonna be? Used to gain a droplet blood gem. A woman's bright red brooch, engraved with the name Viola. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter, used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. Okay. I guess let's just use it. Why not? I figured it would go in here. Blood gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. So this is for, like, changing the type of the weapon, not just straight upgrading it. Droplet blood gems are special gems that adapt to various weapons and shapes. Created from a bright red brooch, this blood gem strengthen th strengthens the effect of rallying. Oh, that's cool. So you, you gain more health back. Not that that's been helping me that much. I find it more dangerous to go for that. I mean, it might be better if I had really strong rallying and if I had maybe a faster weapon. A quintessential hunter skill. Rallying symbolizes the battle-worn hunter who is often the only thing standing after a bloodbath. All right. All right, well, I got that. That's good stuff. Back up the stairs, through the gate. And yeah, like, for as many different paths there were for me to explore, everything has funneled down to this now. There's, as far as I can tell, there's no other way for me to go. So I'm entering a tomb now. Okay, maybe it'll be a largely indoor area now. That, that'd be cool. But yeah, this game seems more like Dark Souls 3 so far than it does Dark Souls 2 by a long shot. I was hoping there would be some branching paths in this game. It's seeming fairly linear. We'll see, though.
The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. So is that going to be the big boss of this area? Some big spider? Oh. My first treasure chest of the game. And it's not even a mimic. It's cool looking chest. Blood gem workshop tool. Oh, so now I can use that. There it is. A misplaced workshop tool from the hunter's dream. Maybe that's where the other... Or maybe that's going to allow me to use the other workbench or whatever. The hunter who retrie retrieves this can fortify weapons by kneading blood gems into them. Blood gems add properties to weapons when used to fortify them as blood defines an organism. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. I, I kind of like the blood theme, even though I'm not a big lover of gore and stuff like that. I find it interesting that it's like a medical kind of biological uh, aspect in this game, if you will. Okay, let's see what's about to happen here. another lamp kind of weird considering I just got a lamp but whatever cathedral ward so I think oh hello uh, I think um, that key that I can buy for 10 grand back in the hunter's dream I think it'll be used somewhere in here so let's talk to you no let's do this first I remember what slave knight gale did to me at the entrance of uh, the cathedral in in Dark Souls 3. Fucking talk to him before talking to the bonfire, and then all of a sudden I'm warped into the painted world. Fucker. Hello there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must be a hunter. Are you sure? I'm very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Okay. Good. Good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. I'm here. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. I can tell. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. This too shall it pass. Nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. Damn. Screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. <laughs> Rough times. All right, let's not panic. If you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. Okay. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> All right, well, obviously I know who that's I know for. I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, if they seem well, and I'll do some sick... Is that it? I'll go run back to her. I think just running back will be faster than uh, warping around and shit. Let's go. Let's go tell the lady. And maybe maybe that chapel will be like a secondary uh, kind of gathering hall for me. Because I noticed across the room from that guy... Where am I going? was like another spot similar to the spot he's sitting on so maybe that's where that lady will end up who knows i don't think she's too terribly far from here just have to use my knowledge of the layout here okay hold on this could go bad Okay. Hold on. 
where does this go? Will this make it faster? I think no. I think no. I think this way will be faster. How are you doing today? If you're here listening to me, watching me, hope you're doing extremely well. Uh, let me know how your day's going in the comments. Oh, it's September 12th today. Yesterday was the anniversary of September 11th. Okay, uh, how did I, I forget where the elevator is from here. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, yeah, this is that shortcut, right? Yeah, so I'm right near the lady now. Perfect. Aren't I? Isn't she right here? Or is she somewhere else? No, she's not here. Where is this again? What was down here? All right, this was the shortcut this way. Oh! Okay, loading up on Molotov cocktails. Okay. She's not here, right? No. It's in another area that looks similar to here. It's nearby, I'm pretty sure. God damn it. Come on. Let's go. Is this it? No. <laughs> God damn. Right, this leads down to it. That's right. Anybody chasing me? Oh, fuck. Fine. I'll come fucking take care of you. Man, this took longer than I thought to get back here, but whatever. Whatever! Fuck you. Alright. Let's go get back to where I was. Their shots come out fast, and my attacks come out so fucking slow. So very slowly. Fuck these guys. Fuck you. Fuck you.
Okay. Let's continue. Are there crows over here? Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, over here. Let's go. No taking on the big killer piggy. Let's continue. Let's continue. <sighs> so Yeah, it see like it seems like Bloodborne is like a fan favorite game of the series. Uh then again, so are so like so is Dark Souls 3. I am curious just to know people's I I don't know. Actually, I don't really want to ask for thoughts on this game yet cuz I'm pretty early into it and there could be a lot more that I'm going to see in this game that I have not even experienced yet. Um hmm. What what else can I ask people? What game are you playing right now? And are you enjoying it or not enjoying it somewhere in between you playing it for fun are you playing it for youtube streaming you playing it because your friend or significant other wants to play it tell me in the comment section what it's all about hey i like that i can put the lantern on and even i believe i've been back to the dream and back here and my lantern stayed uh lit that's pretty sweet okay back to the chapel Let's fucking do this. Yeah, I'm glad I just walked. Didn't have to reset things. Didn't have to go to the load screens and whatnot. But. Will you say anything? Oh, thank you. So that old I did. She don't offer me much in the way of I'd rather see you. Triumph. Okay, we got another if you find any survival, emote. <laughs> Okay, so we'll send them all here. Well, where's the lady? Like, where is she? If I warp back here after, is she gonna appear in here? I won't stress over it. Oh, is this her? Maybe a thank you. What the hell did I do? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Fuck you. Tell me something smart. Oh, fuck you. Fucking loser. Okay, so maybe this will be like a secondary hub. That's the word I was looking for, a hub. Closed. Got that way, and we've got this way. Huh. Let's try this way. Oh, this guy looks scary. Fuck, he looks like uh, Mr. X from Resident Evil 2. That's the other way I was able to go, I believe. Sit on the bench? No, this isn't Hollow Knight. Or Mario Odyssey. <laughs> Who, where, what? Okay. get some more light. Oh, yeah. oh my god, fuck you guys. Uh, my attack animations are all just so slow.
Add man's knowledge, more insight. What the hell? How did I not see you, wherever the hell you were? Ugh. Oh, this fucker. You got a spell or something? That attack is amazing if you can hit with it, because it knocks him down. Awesome. But well, he's got a bell attached to him. I wonder if you get boss weapons in this game, too. Like, I was able to get the boss armor off of fuckface gas coin. Dude, a cool, like, staff weapon could be pretty sweet. Kind of liking the staff enemies. Maybe I'll get a sweet staff of my own in this game. I mean, even the Kirk hammer thing with the... Like, the sword hammer would be kind of sweet. Oh, I have an actual shield now. I might go shield instead of gun, honestly. Hmm. A crude wooden shield used by the masses who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields, ineffectual against the strength of the beasts as they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. I'm going to try it. Why not? Whoops. No, no. Now, if I pick a spear weapon... Can I shield poke? Not with this thing. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm curious about the potential of a shield. That might be a good, uh, good thing to have. Closed by a device, presumably sitting on the other side of it. The baby strollers are fucking creepy, man. But yeah, I like this, um... I, I, I think it's neat that we're in, like, Victoria time, Victorian times or whatever, and everything's of that time. The technology, like the blood uh, vessels, whatever the hell those are called. All the mechanical stuff is, like, very metal. Everything else is kind of made of wood or stone. It's very interesting. Okay, so... Wait, what? Okay, so this is a dead end, so I have to go the other way. Got it. Whee! Let us go the other way. As soon as I remember where that is. Awesome. Let's go. Fuck you. Okay, we got more of these prick bags. Where's the other one? Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh! Wait, what? So they distract me with the excitement of getting the fucking top hat. And then all of a sudden I'm getting grabbed by some fucking invisible creature. Given frenzy. Which is what accumulates from insight. So that was probably an eldritch fucking creature. Just grabbing me out of goddamn nowhere. No point going back to the hunter's dream with no fucking... Uh... Whatchamacallit. Blood echoes. Fuck you. Ow.
Okay, Blood Echo's retrieved from that guy for whatever reason. Um, I guess before I go stand near the edge and get grabbed again, let's... Where did I come from here? Let's check out this equipment that I found. What makes it different from the hunter's garb I've already got. Oh. Hunter garb. Same. Gloves. Same. Trousers. Same. Hunter hat versus hunter top hat. Hat worn by hunters who admire formality. Some hunters place an emphasis on form as seen by the use of the threaded cane. For them, formality, beauty, and justice are the very essence of our humanity and precisely what keeps hunters from becoming something else. That's fair. I can appreciate that. Gotta do something to differentiate yourself from the beasts. More blunt. Uh, let me see. This one's worse than what I've got in a bunch of ways. So as much as it's kind of cool, uh, I'm not going to wear it. Dude, getting grabbed by that invisible creature was fucking crazy, though. And where is it located? Like, okay, I came from there. I think the top hat was like over here, so it's it's in that pit, I suppose. Dude, that's fucking nuts. <sighs> that's fucking nuts. Okay, so I have two directions I can go. I can go here, which seems dangerous, or here. I'm sure they're probably both dangerous. Okay, we got a dog. Got some humans. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. Ha! Oh man, the dog got caught by the fire. Fuck off. So, are these guys all hunters, too? I just don't get along with them, or, or what? Like, they seem like they're not necessarily aligned with the beasts. Well, I guess they are. They're fighting along with them. I don't know. I don't know. That would probably hurt me if I stood in it, so... It's not. So I can go up there, or I can try to go in here. Not that door. Not that door. Hold on. Mummy. I want me mummy. Oh, this looks like a dangerous trap. If I ever fucking saw one. I don't even want to walk on that. I feel like the floor will break. How did I not notice you? Madman's knowledge. Alright. Well, that didn't release me into a trap pit below. Good stuff. Oh, 
Alright then, who's up there? You then! State your business! Come on! Okay, yeah, your top hat didn't do much for your defense. Sorry, Buster. Okay. Um, what was the other way I could have gone from here? Oh yeah, but near the Eldritch Horror monster. Overlooking the room that I was just in. Okay, we've got a switch. More madman's knowledge. Is this is gonna drop a set of stairs or perhaps open that tomb. Open the floor. Opening the tomb. Alright, we got a set of stairs. Let's see what's over here. Okay. I will say, for being, you know, seemingly linear so far, I mean, the game has got an interesting map. Hello, sir. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I think so. I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me... Alfred. This guy looks like a holy warrior. Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. All right. So, what say you? Our prey might differ. We are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Well, like a covenant? Sure. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Uh huh. Take this. <clears throat> celebrate our acquaintance. Let's do it. Fire paper. Pray. This hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. Okay. Applies fire to a weapon. Okay. Of course, paper that applies fire to weapons when rubbed. A hunter's tool found in the healing church workshop. So is this guy a healing church guy? Since the tragedy that struck old Yarnum, fire has become a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fire is strong. Got it. And then I got prey. There must be oodle. Go on. Just... As you know, the healing church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Okay. While I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood Excuse me. is venerated in the main cathedral. Okay. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the oh, world. Okay. If you seek blood healing and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. All right. As you know, well, but I okay. If you Same. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods carved out below Yarnum should be familiar to every hunter. Huh. Well. Once, a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. Okay. Today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. Okay. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Okay. Is that where I'm gonna be heading here under this tomb? So I'm heading in the tomb of Odon. Is this the tomb of the gods? That's kind of crazy. May the good sure. Uh, 
Let's. Oh. Let's pray here. Yeah. All right, good enough. <laughs> We're all prayed up. All right, let's go. This guy's not going to have anything left to talk about, right? There must go on. I made a good. All right. Okay, so I can go down the tomb, or I can go back the other way and see where that leads. I think I'll go back, see where the other way leads. This seems pretty likely to be a way forward. So let's go back here. Quit your twitching. <laughs> Let's hope I don't get fucking annihilated here by some weird invisible creature. Oh my goodness! What the hell? Oh, this is uh, pretty scary looking. Hopefully it doesn't notice me and I can stun it from behind with a charged... Oh, we've got a device! Slow and steady. That was risky. That was needlessly risky. Fuck it. Damn. Took a stomp needlessly. That's okay. Okay, that guy wasn't the worst. Bloodstone shard. Love it. Okay, where the hell am I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember where I am. Operate device. Great device. Oh, is it for this gate? Have I already been to this gate? What, is there some, like... Was that so that I could let that guy chase me and then block him off on one side of the door or some shit? Only a special emblem opens the main gate. Okay, I think that's the one I have to buy for 10,000 uh, blood echoes. So that's cool. All right, let's open this back up. Hopefully I'm able to. And then I guess if something chases me, I can potentially run back through here and shut the gate. Maybe? This guy doesn't seem too bad. I guess there are a couple of them. I mean, I wish I could get behind him and uh, charge attack him from behind. What kind of weapon you got there, buddy? A big log? Gotcha. Dude, walk as slowly as possible. Do not alert this guy. I want to get my first critical hit. Are you fucking serious? Fucking trash, man. Get me out of here. Oh my god. This should be a fucking simple affair. Of course, it has to be stupidly complicated. It's a fucking level up crow. Leveled up crow that has a lot more health than the other ones. Fucking assholes. Fuck you guys. Fuck off! Fuck you. Holy fuck. Fuck right off. Who's here? Nobody. OK, 
Okay, this is kind of a neat little spot. We got a fallen over statue. We got a little smash hole there. I've probably been on that bridge. Huh. Whoops. Oh, baby! Oh, fucking right, baby. Okay, so let's let's actually put the pungent blood cocktail there. And then let's put the monocular... Here. Not a hunter's tool, but a simple antique to be used as one sees fit. Oh, I'm stoked. Alright, let's fucking use this thing. Um... I guess that's better than nothing. Kind of wish I didn't have to look through my shoulder. My weapon, but whatever. Okay, well. No, what the? Oh, no way. This can just be your permanent fucking view? First person mode? That's kind of fucking crazy. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. You can't put that in your hand, can you? No. Okay. Quick items. Well, how do I use quick items? Like, pebble. Okay. Pebble, quick item. Oh, I scroll through those. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Those, sh okay, I guess. I guess antidote... And pungent blood cocktail. No, 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 replace it with nothing. Hold on. Okay. Antidote. Pungent blood cocktail. Did it get them out of here? Yes. Then how do I use the item? Square, right? Okay, let me put a useless item on there just to be sitting there um, in case I accidentally hit the square button. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. And now I can throw pebbles if I want to so that I can have a ranged attack without having my gun equipped so I can keep my torch and shield equipped. Okay, got my monocular and my torch now, so two wishes of mine have been granted. Gotcha. Another bloodstone shard. Should be able to upgrade this axe soon. What is that fucking weapon you got there? Okay, can I actually sneak up on you? Yeah, I see some other prick over there. Oh shit, no staggering this guy, he's way too friggin' big. Oh boy! Wow, that looks dangerous. I mean, that looks really quite dangerous there, pal. Would you be able to fuck off? Oh yeah, strong range on it too. So when he does that attack, I wanna actually roll in. Of course, now he does two attacks in a row. Okay. Okay, so I gotta be aware that two attacks can come in a row. wonder how my shield would do against that. Probably not the greatest. Fuck you, dude! So I just gotta watch and see if he's gonna follow that up. And be ready to dodge a second attack. Okay, gotcha. Awesome, another bloodstone shard. Okay, let's go see what little fucking insect thing is crawling around in here. Where are ya? I saw the little insect crawling around, where'd you go? Bloodstone shard. 
Am I able to hop over there? Maybe not. God, these areas get so confusing with all the little fences and ledges and shit. Not a huge deal, but... Okay, so... Okay, yeah, so I'm continuing down this path, and then my other path is through that cathedral tomb thing. And then I'll have another path once I can buy the key for 10,000 blood echoes. What is this place? Uh-huh. Let's do it. Let's break it all down. Fuck this stuff. <laughs> I guess somebody was thinking about the Legend of Zelda when they made this room. Perhaps. Hey, a chest. Okay. What have we got here? Tempering blood gemstone. Okay, is that going to be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Radial, not droplet. A blood gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. Blood gems are especially rare blood stones that glow on, grow on cold blood. Blood gems are... Yeah. Most radial blood gems have effect that effects that bear on physical attacks. So this, this one will increase my blood drain, whatever that's called. I can't remember. And then this one will increase my attack, perhaps. Okay, I'm going to end... Uh, oh, wait, it tells me. Physical attack up 2.7%, boost rally potential 1.8%. HP continues to recover, plus one. What does that mean, continues to recover? Rarity, the rarer the gem, the more potent it is. Shape, must match weapon in order to fuse, got it. Oh, it's not gonna tell me the details on the effects. That's okay. I mean, that's cool though, all right. Uh, okay, I'm at 57 minutes into this episode, so I'm going to end this. This one's been a lot more fun than the first one, where I kept fucking dying to that boss like a noob. All right, thank you for watching episode 6 of my blind Let's Play of Bloodborne. Really appreciate you being here. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. It all really helps out my channel a ton. Really enjoy talking to people. Let me know what you think of me, my commentary, the game, life in general, etc. Let me know how your day is going. And yeah. Uh, regardless of any bitching I do, I am having fun with the game. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you in episode 7 right after I go and take a leak. Peace out.